Hello, I'm Tony Perkins, President of the Family Research Council here in Washington, D.C., with a message to churches in California. Since America's beginnings, our society has affirmed human sexuality as outlined in the Bible, that we are all made in the image of God as male and female, and that sexual behavior is best expressed in a marriage relationship between one man and one woman. That relationship yields the best outcomes in every category of life, especially the well-being and development of children. But times are changing in America, and not always for the better. Last year, the California State Legislature passed and Governor Jerry Brown signed SB 48 into law. Under this new law, public schools are required to teach children as young as five not only to accept, but also to endorse transgender, bisexual, and homosexual identity and behavior. In order to accommodate the law, costly new instructional materials are in development to assist in the indoctrination of California children. While it's disturbing that elected officials pass such a misguided and harmful legislation, the good news is that Californians have a unique right that some states simply do not have, and that is the ability to collect petition signatures for a ballot referendum to repeal legislation like SB 48. The challenge before us is to collect 700,000 new and valid petitions by July the 11th for processing. So it'll take a lot of effort, but consider what is at stake. When students in California schools are falling behind in core subjects, should we divert precious classroom time and resources away from science and math, reading and writing to promote the political agenda of a few? During tough economic times, can we really afford to provide new textbooks or supplemental information to accommodate this propaganda? Do you realize that parents no longer have the right to opt their children out of these classes? Classes that contradict the very values these parents are teaching their children at home. In my opinion, the state has no right to step between the parent and their child. Do you really think impressionable children as young as five ought to be indoctrinated with these harmful lifestyles? Well, if your answer is no, then sign the petition and encourage your family, your friends, and your fellow church members to do the same. Visit classact2012.com. A referendum will give we the people the opportunity to repeal this horrible legislation and protect our children from indoctrination. Again, the website classact2012.com.